folks, this is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week, we go seven hours a day, we go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. To master love, you have to practice love. The art of relationship is a whole mastery, and the only way to reach mastery is with practice. To master a relationship is therefore about taking action, not about attaining knowledge. Market-wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials down 51, NASDAQ off 129, S&P's down 24. Gold, gold contract up $1.80, trading at 1996 an ounce. We have silver down 4 cents, $22.96 an ounce. Light sweet crude down $2.08, $83.31 a barrel. Notes and bonds. Big moves out here by notes and bonds, folks. Uh, bottom line, the 10-year up 26, 106.10. And I'll bring that up. It was actually more than that because we were in the negative, rejected lower price. And then you had the 30-year, that's up a full point, plus 13 ticks, trading out at 109.26. King dollar. King dollar's up 77 ticks. That gave it up on price, 106.606. The euro at 105, the yen trade 150, and the British pound at 121 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world. In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. We're going to bring up the E-mini first because the E-mini, you know, was a one-way route all the way down today. It turns around. We're down about 52, 55 S&P points. We're down to 41, 46. Yeah, and we're 40 points above that right now. Uh, now, let me show you, though. There's an ABC structure on the way up here that gives you a price projection of 29.92. Let's just see what we hit right there. Oh, that's pretty funny. So we, are, we just hit 21.91.25. So what happens is that, and here, here's, here's your, you just want to see how this works. Here's your ABC up. Intraday. Watching Tiger TV, you can see them just marking this on. on you, this, but this bar took out this bar with volume. It's a twenty. I think it's a twenty-eight A to B equals C to D. You know. So that being said, I expect what you're going to see here is that you're going to run right into the close. You know, we just finished the ABC. We missed it by what the uh, three quarters of one. You know, but I don't think we're going to miss it because when you come back this much, okay, it's going to take. So watch what happens here. Because we have that big bar there, that, yeah, you can pull back into that bar, you know. Yeah, but look at this. This is there. See, the last bar here has volume, too. So this is going to build a little bit more cause and then make a run for this 4205. That's in your S&Ps. NQs. We take a look at the NQs. Now, it will be interesting to see, to see that if, if, in fact, that takes place. Because if it does, it'll be one of the first days that we don't sell off into the close. Because what we have done is that we've done some counter trend bounce intraday and then just sold right into it, into the close, this is. So if we take a look at the NQs, the NQs, they had a low today of about 14140 They're 140 bucks off that level. Now, it's the same deal, okay? That took out a B point, so this is also an ABC structure up and... That high does have volume. That high out there that we're talking about, the uh, 14,449. Now, that would be quite a run for the NASDAQ to do that. I can see the S&P doing it. I can't see the NASDAQ getting that far up, but you never, you never know. That's... Okay, gold. Let's go to the gold contract. So gold, bottom line, keeps wanting higher price. And this is in the context of, you know, we do have high interest rates, but guess what? It's not stopping it. And what we are getting is that we're getting an average of 200,000 contracts a day pushing on the swing, which is awesome, or 203, and then notes and bonds. This is the number here, man. I mean, the, 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 you know, this has been pushing back and forth off, off these lows. So we've, this is the sixth day that we're here. And what we had out here this morning, well, first off, yesterday you came down, and, you know, bottom line is that, you, you had lighter volume, but it didn't reject lower price. Today, what ended up happening is that we did get a couple ticks lower, and then it took off like a rocket ship. 
So what you're also going to have, now watch this. This gets interesting for folks that like candlestick charting. Because what you're also going to have is that you have a bullish engulfing here of the last three or four days, which is a positive sign. We'll see whether we get feedback, uh, follow through rather tomorrow, but that, that's a real positive sign. And if you go into the, so that's, we go to the 30, we take a look at the 30 year. 30 year right now is up a point and a half. Same setup, same setup. You get 531,000 contracts. It's good contract volume. You know, we get, if we get a couple of days like this, you are going to start seeing people pile into uh, the note and bond market. You know, that's because, because it's been such a downdraft. And then we go to King Dollar. We take a look at King Dollar. What you're going to see with King Dollar is that, you know, it, it, had, a, it had a decent bid today, man. Um, you know, particularly because what had happened is that yesterday... Let's, let's do it this way. Yesterday, you, you were up on King Dollar, and the, the, the prior day you were, and then today, man, it just gave it up. And it's a nice way that it gave it up, actually, because it got over the highs of the last week and a half and then just gave it up in spades. We got to 106.894, and now we're at 106.634. You know, so it got over that swing point of the 106. Yeah, it did. It got over the swing point of 106 to 787. That was the last time that it trying to get back inside the channel line. Gave it up. Now what that sets up is that we're going to go right back down the other side. So we get a market here, man. That's the real bottom line. It's a decent market. Dow, Dow Industrial, decent trading market, that is. Dow Industrial's down 106. NASDAQ off 157. S&P's down 32. Stay right there, folks. Come right back.